I have a beautiful friend. She is the single parent of two equally beautiful daughters. Her husband left when the second was born with special needs. Coincidentally, my neighbor is a single father of two. His wife left, choosing a life of drugs over a life of responsibility. My guess is you will never hear the names of these two amazing individuals. You'll never subscribe to their YouTube channel or follow them on Facebook. And their faces will probably never be on the cover of a magazine. But I can tell you without a doubt in my mind that they both work harder at life than I do. This past Saturday, I got up early to do some work on a new book. In the early morning, while I was driving to do some writing, I passed a young man sweating profusely out jogging. He was significantly overweight. I was inspired by what I saw. His body shape isn't the type you'll see on posters in a local fitness center. But here was a guy up early on a Saturday morning working hard to change his life while most of my neighbors were still sleeping. One more story. Last week, a colleague of mine led a funeral for a friend who had recently died of a drug overdose. The deceased was a young man who had been born addicted to heroin. Through no fault of his own, but because of the actions of his mother, he waged war against addiction every day of his life. Some days he won, some days he lost, but in the end, it took his life. As my colleague shared his story, he summed it up this way. Our lost friend will unfortunately be remembered by most as a drug addict, but that's not the man I knew. I will remember forever my friend as a man who fought endlessly against an addiction unfairly passed on to him. I will remember him as a man who worked hard to make the most of a bad situation. Our world loves to glorify beautiful people. We look up to and praise those who have accomplished much in visible measures. We lift up as role models and examples those who excel in sports, write books, own the stage, or excel in business or politics. And I don't want to look down on those accomplishments and those examples. There is much that we can learn from them. But let's face it, life can be messy. And not everybody gets to live in the limelight as one of the beautiful people. Some people find themselves struggling just to tread water each day through very difficult circumstances. Sometimes the trials we face in life are a result of our own doing. Sometimes they are the result of a wrong committed against us. But there is little doubt that we are surrounded by people facing difficult circumstances in every direction we look. And many of them, those fighting to make the most of it, deserve our respect and our praise. But they are often overlooked by a society that often praises the wrong measures of success. So allow me today, in my own small little way, to recognize those of you who are working hard to make the most of a bad situation. We see you and we applaud you. Here's to those of you who are raising kids without the support of a responsible partner. Here's to those of you striving to overcome the cycle of poverty or addiction in your family. Here's to those of you working two jobs to provide your children with more opportunity than you had growing up. Here's to those of you working to change the unhealthy habits that have defined your life for too long. Here's to those of you who have been treated unfairly in the workplace and are struggling to start again. Here's to those of you battling a disease that seeks to destroy your body. Here's to those of you caring faithfully for a loved one who is nearing the end of life. Here's to those of you who have been knocked down by life, but are struggling and working to get back up again. We see you and we applaud you. Not only that, we thank you. Thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for working hard to make life better, not just for yourself, but for those closest to you. 
We need more people like you in our world. For more videos like this about how to own less and live more, click to subscribe.